Well, they've been queuing for hours. It's the hottest ticket in town. It's the 2011 Mobile Industry Awards right here in the centre of Melbourne at the Spice Market. It promises to be a very spicy and hot evening. I'm very excited about the diversity of people in the community here in Australia coming along to celebrate the Mobile Industry Awards at Mobile Monday. We've got representation from some of the largest corporations, we've got developers who are developing applications across handsets as well as devices, so tablets as well as mobile phones. And uh, we've also seen user interface and user experience designers through to venture capital and capital investors, so those people that help some of these fabulous ideas get off the ground in the first place. So what are you hoping to uh, get out of tonight? A little bit of networking, etc. Ah. if you'll excuse the pun. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of networking, I guess, yeah, but I guess mainly to see what it's all about and get a bit more of an idea of the industry and, and what people are doing. It's exciting. Basically to mingle with other people in the mobile industry in Melbourne and also to um, see what kind of um, people, what kind of companies are out there and also um, what kind of innovative ideas are coming out of Melbourne in the mobile space. Well I'm here with the emerging future Melbourne University's finest. These events that promote entrepreneurship I love them as well like you know you go to them get get new ideas and you can give new ideas to people and I'm actually here from Shanghai. Oh really? I yeah I fly off tomorrow I'm here for a week and uh, I've, I've visited actually the Mobile Monday in Shanghai, it's fantastic. So you heard that folks, some people will do absolutely anything to really? avoid parking in Melbourne. Oh, I was invited down by Ben, uh, we've been, I've been working with the Census API quite closely over the last year and a half and um, recently we've been doing a lot of developer community engagement and Momo is obviously you know, right at the heart of Melbourne and Australia's uh, developer community so I wouldn't miss a night like tonight that's for sure. Well we've seen the glitter and now it's time to look closer at the glamour. Sarah looking fabulous this evening what brings you here tonight? I'm just here to support the digital media ecosystem so um, obviously mobile phones being a very key player in that. Um, come along just as a keen outsider don't know a lot about it at this point so just interested in what's going on. Fantastic to have everyone here tonight thank you very much I'm, I'm Zach Jacobs this is a Ben Bigfoot and Norbert Herman, we are Mobile Monday Melbourne. Happy to crack off a, a huge year for us and hope for all of you guys as well. So as you travel Australia, uh, you pretty much can bet that any Monday of the month, from Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, right through to Perth, you can be confident that Mobile Monday is a fantastic organisation, not only to attend events, but to reach out to some of the organisers and the people. If you're looking to expand, looking to build your network or looking to, again, just uh, perhaps have a fun time and also share and learn about the industry. We've had a pretty good year so far. We've had mapping mobile, mobile apps and the challenge of cross-platform development, uh, entrepreneurs, uh, new marketing frontiers, user experience, a whole uh, augmented reality, uh, war of tablets and uh, Mobile World Congress review and a bunch of other stuff. So it's been a really meaty, action-packed year for us and uh, we hope you've enjoyed the events. So if we kick it off, firstly with Carol, please come to the stage, please give her a warm welcome. Hi everyone and thank you very much for the Black Book for the Momama team. You guys have done a phenomenal job this year and we're so pleased to be able to sponsor Mobile Monday. This is our second year running that we're sponsoring. Next up we've got Peter James from Ninefold. Please give him a warm welcome. We're passionate about Australian startups and obviously passionate about uh, mobile, mobile apps and Mobile Monday. Please give Cathy a warm welcome from Multimedia Victoria. We recognise some great and growing capability in the mobile sector in the state and we're here, our job is to help you guys grow and develop. Next up we have Magella, Magella from Hamilton from UK Trade and Investment. Hi, UK Trade and Investment is the commercial arm of the British Government. Uh, the trade side helps UK companies into foreign markets but the investment side, which is the main sponsor tonight, helps your companies, Australian companies, into the UK. Next up, we have Mark Blair from Brightco. Please give Mark a big warm welcome. Delighted to be uh, sponsoring uh, tonight's evening. Um, Brightco, for those of you that haven't heard of us, we're the largest provider of video solutions for the internet um, professionally. Next up, we've got Alex Burton from SMS Global. For those of you who don't know, we've actually been involved in uh, launching Momos in Dubai, in the middle region. Lastly, I'll bring up uh, Satya Mishra, a friend of mine from Tech Mahindra. We do a lot to bring mobility, content, apps and payment together. So if you like, we are the bricks and mortar, the, the not so 
sexy part of mobility. It's uh, the now second year for Mobile Monday's Mobile Industry Awards. In the space of less than probably a week, we had 35 nominees for the most magnificent apps. We've got Mark to present the award for the best consumer app as voted by you using the mobile app. And the winner is Naturally Being CFA. Congratulations. So Peter Jane from Mindfall is going to announce the uh, Startup Rookie of the Year. And the winner is E Coffee Cup. Next up we have the best camp mobile campaign. It, it, it is going to go to Mobile Embrace so for the Nestle campaign that it is here, which was a very, very nice campaign. The next award, the Best Innovation Export Award. And the winner is Filter Squad Discover Music App. Congratulations. So for the Best Enterprise App of the Year, we had uh, a few nominations here. So the winner is Acclamation. It looks like it's one night, but it's really a year of effort. And each month, Mobile Monday puts on events each and every month um, from March through to, in this case, November, but sometimes December. I have known Momo for, since its genesis and the time it was founded here, Ben Bigford and others, uh, they had been promoting it. And I thought now that I work with Tech Mahindra, we'd rather show that we are involved as well. So another man that didn't get the dress code requirements of Tuxedo, Carl, welcome to the evening. Thank you, thank you. This is our second year of sponsorship for the, the Mobile Monday event of the year. Well, someone else that's helping adding that touch of glamour to the evening is Carol. Carol, what brings you to a wonderful evening such as this? We're really, really committed around the BlackBerry developer community and development for mobile apps in, in all. So. We're quite keen to see people really coming out with new and innovative ways to really extend people from voice and email to true mobile working. Another one of our charismatic presenters this evening was Sean. Sean, what brings you to this very auspicious evening at the Spice Market? Somebody told me there was free drinks and alcohol. I also am the chapter founder for Mobile Monday in Dubai. So I'm, we brought the first Mobile Monday to the Middle East region, which will be launching on December 5th. So you can follow us on Momo Dubai. Bright Cove is delighted to be this year participating in Momo for the first time. Very exciting time for us. We're um, in the midst of launching a new product that's focused on the mobile industry called AppCloud and that's what brought us here. I actually didn't have time to grab my bow tie otherwise we would have looked very much alike. Excellent. Actually you've got a very nice hairdo. I like it. I like yours as well. Yeah, yeah. So an evening like tonight is just rich for networking, isn't it? Absolutely. I've just come back from over the other side of the room talking to a Hong Kong entrepreneur who happens to have products and services that may well fit with the offering that we have here in Australia. Um, again, I've been talking to some of the great uh, Melbourne community, startups, entrepreneurs, people in the, uh, the innovative mobile space, all of whom are connected and all of whom are looking for opportunities to take their products to the world. As soon as you put something out there, whether it's a minimum viable product or even an idea or a concept or a business model that you might have in the mobile space, that's the first step. The feedback that you get from that's invaluable. It's all about sharing those ideas and getting other people's experience to mutate what you've already come up with into something that's going to be successful. It's a very exciting time, but to be honest, I'm looking forward to the future and continuing to bring that insight to the Mobile Monday community and, and to the Australian community uh, as well. Well, the awards have been run and won, the drink cards absolutely blasted and the end of another Momo for season 2011. What a wonderful night full of glitz, glamour, phones, ringtones and applications. It's been a wonderful... E oh. oh, how rude. Sorry, I'm going to have to get this. Hello? No, I'm at the Momo. Not Elmo, Momo. Sorry, I'm going to have to get this. Listen, good night. Thanks for a wonderful evening. See you next year at 2012 Momos. You've been fantastic. Good night. Yeah. No, not Elmo Momo. How did you get this number?